welcome back to our channel and today is a clean 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 if you got time to lean you got time to clean kind of day around the shop okay because when you have your own shop it's like having a second house okay and just like you got to clean your house you got to clean your shop too so today is a day my friends of reckoning of cleaning of organizing and getting this place into uh, tip-top shape so let the kings begin Take a break. Man, we've got a lot since I last saw you. Like, take a look at all this stuff. Yes, we're just starting to move everything from out of the shop to the outside out here to get it all cleaned up. It's a loud place today. But anyway, getting lots of stuff done. And what's really exciting is today behind the scenes. You guys know in here, one of our junk videos, I took you over to Mary's next door. She's a lady that runs a secondhand consignment shop. And so anyway, we're excited because we're gonna be working with her and putting in a lot of our peanut treasures over to her space over there. So make sure you go check her out. So when you come now, you'll be able to shop paint and all the supplies here, see everything you need into our shop and also see a continuation of all the yumminess and painted good stuff over at her shop, which you can find a lot of unpainted stuff too. Look, I've got like, my hands are already starting to look filthy. Yes, I did shower this morning. Yes, I look like I jumped into a chimney, but oh well, right? Oh well, what you gonna do? So anyway, the work continues. So in yesterday's vlog, we went out toward the beautiful countryside, saw a fox, saw lily pads, all kinds of awesomeness uh, here in the beautiful countryside of Pennsylvania. But what I did not show you was I told you about the hutch that I got that we need to paint today. Hello on our Facebook page. So make sure you're joining us over there. Junk, not Junk Monkey Paint. It is Facebook and then search Junk Monkey Paint Company. But anyway, look what I found as well. Okay. This is, came as also part of the free junk that I was able to inherit yesterday. Take a look at these. Heck yeah. Right? Who loves the ladder back chairs? You totally see these in a dark like a midnight blue or even a liberty blue so pretty fortunate to be able to get six of these for free heck yeah so we'll take the rest of those out today and we got projects we got projects we got projects everywhere everywhere Whew. all right it is a hot day outside and moving makes me feel like hey 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 hey, hey. i was getting pictures of the ice cream Matt just went, it's not ice cream, what is it? It's frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. He just went up to the creamery across the road. <laughs> I grab it. And uh, got us some, it's hazelnut, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. So it's no sugar, no fat, pure yumminess. And so anyway, it's nice. This is what I love about summers, all right? But already, I can see the floor, I can see the floor. Can you see the floor? So, oh my gosh. In a moment, I'll take you around once we get this place all cleaned up. I've got a hutch to paint today as well. Um, so stay tuned. Yay, I'm eating ice cream and then back to more work. Take a look. Kate is out here putting her roadside fine together. Kate, you found this on the side of the road, right? Yeah. Nabbed it. Look at it, it's really nice. Everybody loves storage, this is beautiful. And she's getting ready to move into her own apartment. So she found this, she's painted it. She's not finished with it yet, but you can see how that each step graduates. And so she did uh, with the chalky style paint, she just basically created an ombre effect and lightened it and used some darker to lighter colors and so anyway she's putting it all together and it's going to be gorgeous when it's done right woohoo and we are getting there it is that time of the day that we go ahead and we get to paint some live so in between eating ice cream i was on a hive eating ice cream then i jumped into my creative coaching group where um, i coach right now as of the time of this video 150 ladies on how to grow their business and grow their dreams of course of course it's day eight of the painted piece of furniture or something or another challenge and so this was the hutch if you saw on yesterday's vlog looking all brownie frowny i do have the piece of glass that goes in here so i'm going to decide if i'm going to keep put glass into it or if i take them all out do chicken wire that's an option and i think i said yesterday in the video you may have heard me say she also has the doors off i do have those if i decide to put them back on i'm going to use use this for a storage unit for my shop so i may or may not put the doors back on i'm going to decide basically momentarily so um but she had started this project gotten so far 
and uh, just kind of like at that point, the progress stopped and her husband was like, okay, you haven't done anything with this for a while, so do something with it or let's move it along and burn it. And so I'm so happy she called me. So I don't care right now. She has used some sort of paint on here at this point that doesn't make a difference to me because I'm gonna pull out some of our Chucky style paint that sticks to pretty much everything under the sun and uh, it will stick to this and basically just continue with the color I want. I don't even have to worry about any color being on there. So this is gonna, gonna be in this color and of course it's gonna take a little bit of jazzing up. We're gonna make it gorgeous, baby. So stay tuned. Bye bye, Brownie Frowny. Let's all wave to it. See you later. Phew. Man, a lot has happened. We have so far, ta-da. Bye bye, Brownie Frowny. What do you guys think so far? Whew, I just worked for an hour and a half on this piece on a Facebook Live and I stopped here at the top. So imagine if I were to only show you the top part right here. This is kind of where we're at right now. We put down our layer of the, um, the Berry Dance and we used some black velvet. We created some black wax. We did some like antiquing to give it this really cool antique look. For those of you who ask when we do make our wax, the type of brush we use when I put it on, these are just brushes. Um, you can see they're not that big, but this is like the size that I like to use. It really doesn't matter, I guess, what brand you use. But um, this size is perfect for getting into like creases and doing edging versus using a big brush that really might cover too big of an area for you, especially if you want something in it. So um, doesn't want you don't want to completely cover it I guess is what I'm trying to say with like a, an antique look maybe you just want to keep it more or less to the edges and so what I'm going to do now is I actually will cover this with a plastic bag and so this will stay together and um, because our monkey shine is so rich it actually will not dry up on the brushes rather I just cover it and then tomorrow when I pull this out again I'm good to go ahead and continue to work with it so it's like my artist palette right I just keep adding to it and doing what I need to do. One of the other brushes I used today was this little guy here and um, I used him to paint the hinges of this piece behind me um, to really just paint over the hinges because there was hinges that I was not about to take off and there was also hinges that were nailed on and that I was not about to take off. And so um, this is a great way if you just want to add a little bit of darkening to, to some existing hardware. In this case, I did not use wax to darken it. I actually used right over here our black velvet, dipped it into it, and then just went ahead and applied it on the hinges. And if you can see right here, just added it right there, okay? So there we go. And now what I want, if I want, I can go back and stress a little bit some more, bring a little bit more of that brass through. And of course, antiqued um, the hardware and stuff like that to be able to make it blend. Still got a bit more work to do on it. I'm also considering putting a B on this piece, which I think could be beautiful. So gotta think on that tonight bottom is still a little bit wet so I've got to let that dry so I'm gonna continue on tomorrow with the bottom half right here and let this dry this was the part that had the white paint underneath it as well down at the bottom so I'm not gonna rush anything like that because before I do any distressing I want to make sure the white stays under there so I'm gonna give the this bottom half a little bit of extra time to dry and for everything to go in I've got to finish up the sides tomorrow um, so yeah, so like that was a lot of work, but I'm really really happy with it um, Sometimes for me the biggest part is getting that first base of color down and then you can play with it and have fun It's kind of like what I like into like when you do your makeup, you know And all the extra highlights and things like that will come once you get your piece done But just getting all the color on there and doing that part so this is a monstrosity of a piece but I'm excited because I did get a lot of cleaning done today at the shop reopens tomorrow so we're stocked really well with our paint all that good stuff this is like I say this really shows where the fun has been so here's my can I still didn't use an entire can on this piece can you believe it with this monstrosity so it goes a long long ways wipes always amazing for getting paint splatters okay so always make sure as a painter you have something that's handy um, I got out my uh, teal highlighting glaze because as we discussed in a live video I'm really thinking about playing with a few highlights on here so I gotta clean up my mess like I say this merely shows where the fun has been so got my hardware over there waiting um, to get put back on work is never done Matt has just left. He's gone ahead of me uh, to prepare supper, and I think he's cooking steak tonight, which is really cool. So he left me with a treat to get me home because on the drive home, about a half an hour drive home, I got some munchies, some teriyaki 
beef jerky and I've got some water because after an hour and a half of climbing all over this hutch, let me just tell you, phew, I am sweating and uh, yeah, so I'm ready to hydrate. Okay, these were the doors that was on this piece, but like I said, I'm not planning to put them back on because I have a plan for this piece and I think it's gonna be beautiful in my shop. And I think I'm gonna make a way for it right over here in this corner here. So span this big corner right here, rearrange this part tomorrow. Who remembers when we did this, this beautiful dresser right here together? That was pretty with some paper on it. One of the things I decided to do today in going through the cleaning of the shop was make use of this piece. I we did the flower on it. This is actually an old record stand and uh, just to kind of show you how I love to repurpose as well behind the scenes. It has all the different uh, like pieces of wood that you know would have held all your records to maintain them up straight. So I've started filling it with my, my book work, you know, my everything that I keep for orders for my retailers and invoices and all that good stuff. And so I gotta get a little bit more organized tomorrow, but it's pretty cool, right? So um, I just think that's a great repurpose to be able to you know, don't have any records, but I've got lots of paper, and so this is going to be the perfect little thing for me. And uh, so, yeah, so this is kind of where we are right now. It's getting there. It's getting there. I've got a few more pieces of furniture. I'm going to do a do some, um, what do you call it, a repair on this guy here. Uh, Loria, who's our videographer, um, she has a chair in her room, and uh, we're going to make it, make it pretty, okay? So tomorrow, I think we might paint that one for her in a misty aqua. Phew. All right, so I am gonna sign off for the day. She's looking all pretty on pink and looking all fine and mighty. Stay tuned because tomorrow we will get her done. All right, thanks for joining me for another day here at the Junk Monkey. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.